Okay, so recently I was checking out some of the new free sample captures that Amalgam put out for some of their new amps. And one of the differences between those captures and ones I would bought and used previously was they had only released captures that were amp and cab combined. And always before I'd used the DI captures and then combined them with an IR. An IR from Amalgam, but still I was separating out the amp capture from the IR with the cabinet. So I thought it might be useful to take those cabs and IRs and compare them to the corresponding capture that includes a cabinet as part of the capture. So the capture packs that I bought, I bought the Tone King Imperial and the Turok OD50. Those only have DIs in them. But the car capture pack also had captures that had cabinets included. So I wanted to do today was compare the sound of the DI with the IR with the exact same capture, including the cabinet. So the way the preset is set up, on the back end, we've got some delay and reverb. And the scenes are set up. So we have four samples of each. You can see the top row is the DI captures with an IR. And I'm using these two IRs from Amalgam. One's a Fender cabinet, one's a Tone King cabinet. And then the lower scenes are the pure captures that include cabs with them. And you can see here, I am putting a low high cut on these because if you look at the way the IR is set up, it's got a low and a high cut on it. So I wanted to keep it even. So I put a low high cut here, about 80 here and 6,000 here. So I wanted to start that way just to keep it even. So let's compare here. We've got the clean balanced. I went with the clean balanced with a cab. We've got the edge balanced, and we are able to find an edge balanced with the cab. We've got the crunch balanced, and I've got a crunch balanced with the cab. And then we've got the drive fat. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a drive fat with the cab, but I've got the drive balance. We can compare it. So let's check out the differences. So here's the clean balanced going through an IR. So I really like how that sounds. This is one of my favorite captures from the album. But let's try the amp with the cab included. So with the cab included, there's a lot more bass, and I was finding this on the other captures that I was testing out for some of the new amps, that I found that the captures with the amps included had a little bit of kind of a boominess to some of the bass. So I'll be interested to hear if that's the same for all of these captures. Capture with the IR seems to have a lot more clarity. Let's check out the edge sound. Seems like there's a lot more low end to the captures with the cabs in them. Let's check out the crunch. I'm gonna use the bridge pickup here. Let's 
try out the capture that includes the cap. Again, a lot more low end to it. Uh, let's check out the drive. So this is the drive fat. Now the capture with the cab included. I don't think it's the low high cut. That's about the same. I think it's just that these captures have a lot more low end to them. So what I've been liking to do is actually to raise the low cut up to around like 150 or so. general, at least for these captures, I much prefer using the DI capture with the IR versus the capture that includes both. I'm not sure what's going on, but I find the captures that have the cabs included, it's too much low end. They don't have the clarity. I just think it's better to have them separate. You have more control and it just sounds better. So, so I think I'm going to continue to use the DI captures with the IRs rather than these combo captures. But let me know what you think down below. And thanks for watching.